Hey guys, this is the first part to the 500 race engine build series. So what we've got is our crankcases, they're late 60s, early 70s CB450. And we've got to do a few mods to them. So the, to the top case, we need to plug these oil holes, as the oil's now going to run externally up to the head. In the bottom case, we need to drill and tap these to secure the splash plate to fit this crankcase into my frame I also need to cut these down and lastly I need to mill a section out of here to fit the new oil pump So I've got the crankcase mounted in the mill and I've used a, a clamp here and I've also got these two clamps that sli uh, slide in to the table and I've got one in this corner and one in this back corner just in case there's any sort of twist Then I used a couple of parallels to get this edge here flat These are little uh, spirit level just to get that kind of close and then to get this sort of parallel to the table it doesn't really need to be it'll just make this look a bit nicer to get it done quickly i just used a square parallel with the table at either end here and then here and then measured back with a ruler to the end of the table and that is basically how i've got it set up and yeah, we'll just get stuck in it. So that's this side done, hopefully that should have, if I can figure out how to do it, should have all been a bit speeded up. <laughs> and uh, the only thing I've got left to do is I'm going to, there's a slight little lip here, so I'll bring this out uh, flush. And then I'm going to remove this bit and to meet this fin here. I had to remove this section because my milling cutter started rubbing uh, with the depth of this. And I'm not going to bring this in anymore because this is actually at a slight angle, so it'll never ever look right. So, and then there's a, a frame tube sits basically like that, so you're never going to see it anyway. It's just for clearance, so I'm 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 quite happy with that. I'm not going to do the finishing up bit on camera, and I'm, I can't do the other side of the camera because I can't get my camera in. So that's as far as I've, I'm going to do with this side. But then we'll get on to the oil pump 
and then the other side next. So I've finished the first step and removing the material here for the frame, moving the material here for the exhaust. Uh, I will dress all these up once I've finished doing all the machining. So the next step is to machine 5 mil out here so the new oil pump can bolt down into the casing. I've just got this set up with a big table clamp on the inside and the two wee clamps at either end and then because this machine surface is quite short I've got it resting on a, an adjustable jack at the back. So I've now got the oil pump fitted. It was quite a bit more work than what I thought because the instructions are a bit vague. So I initially took this amount of material off but it's not enough. You need to take this back quite a bit further to get the full range because the pump's actually slotted for the sake of the chain so you can adjust it. So I had to move that quite a bit further back. I also had to mill this section out as well which in the instructions is just it's just flat but I had to mill that out just to get it to sit in. But yeah that's all done and dusted now. The last part I've never done in camera it was just the sort of initial taking this square out that I've done. So the last step for the bottom crank case is to drill and tap these holes. The plate that sits on here used to be riveted on but I knocked the rivets on just so I could get it out to clean in there. So what I've done is I've run a mill over it just to flatten them off and because where the rivet is was it's not actually central to this, so I'm just going to line it up by eye with the drill. I'll get it, I should be able to get it close enough. And drill this, drill these two, tap these two. Then, because this mill's quite small, I'll have to flip the casing round and then set it all up again, and then do the same on the other side. I've just got to set it up sitting on parallels to get it level, to get this face level. And then a central clamp, that should be more secure enough just for drilling the holes. So I'm not going to film any of this, I'll just, I'm just getting you a run through what I, how I was going to set it up. <clears throat> and then the last job will be the top car case. <laughs> 